So, in some of my recent videos, I've been talking a lot about stress and the ways that you can relieve stress, ways that you can figure out that you are stressed and the things that are causing you stress that you don't know about. And in this video, I want to talk about what's, what de-stresses me, right? This, plain and simply, nature. Now you may say, I don't have time to go to a forest or a park or a trail. You don't need any of those things. Now this looks like a beautiful forest, but listen to the background. I'm in the middle of a city and there's a lot of noise around here, right? There's an office building over there. It looks pretty tranquil here, but this is paradise, right? Paradise doesn't have to be, you know, blue, blue ocean. Uh, you know, on a beautiful white sand beach with no one else around you. That's paradise, absolutely. And if you can get that, go for it, right? The ocean water is so healthy for you. Salt water, right? <clears throat> it's healing. But it's like me, you live in a city, you can find a place in the city to be, right? Be present. Relieve stress because there's beautiful animals here. There's there's birds in the trees and don't hear much of them now. I hear a lot of airplanes going by and motorcycles. But I also talk about how to be present with those things too, right? Those things can cause stress, as I discussed in my previous video. but you can allow not to, to invite them in, right? I hear the airplane. I'm not stopping this video because of it because it's not bothering me. I hope it's not bothering you, and if it is, then we, we need to talk. <laughs> you're, you're a little too wound up and stressed. But these things can cause stress, unbeknownst to us. These sounds, traffic, noises, they, they, they can be stressful, but I wanna show you in this video that you can find peace and you can de-stress in a city, in a beautiful part of that city. This city I'm in happens to have this beautiful taken care of trail, right? That, that I don't know who takes care of it, but back uh, a few years ago, I used to bring one of those pickup sticks and I would, I would go through this whole uh, parking lot and, and, and this, this beautiful park and I would pick up all the garbage because that was important for me. And that's part of decluttering, right? Decluttering's part of one of the things that you need to do that you don't know is stressing you out. So I would come to these parks and I would see all the garbage around and it, it, it stressed me out. And I knew that it was stressing the, the nature out too, the animals and stuff. It, you know, whatever we throw, these animals are eating and it's not healthy for them, right? It stresses them out too because of their diet. Go watch the video, here's the link that I just, I just did on um, what's stressing you out that you don't even know about. Well, it's, it's, it's affecting nature too and the animals. You know, so clutter around here being people throwing garbage, right? Yeah, the animals wanna go eat it, but it's toxic stuff too that they shouldn't be eating. So we're kind of stressing out the animals too. <laughs> and the animals don't know any better, but neither do we. So what's the difference? They don't, they don't you know, they're tuning out the noise just like I am. But you can, you can tune out the noise and be in a beautiful setting like this. It's all about your intentions, right? And your thoughts. What do I want here? I want peace, I want calm. I don't want stress, I don't want anger, I don't want negativity, so I don't bring it with me. But I really set an intention to sit here on this log, in the water, which I did, I did wade through, and it is cold, but it's one of those those days, right? You get an Indian summer day in the winter. It's it's mid-February and it's 76 degrees. You know, it doesn't do much for my cold training, but I, I've, had, I've got some good days of cold training in, so I'm not worried about that. But how can you not look at this, you know, be in this weather and say, hey, I want to ground in a park somewhere and just be still. And if you can get to a beach or a park or the mountains, I encourage you to do so. If those things don't don't de-stress you, 
then find some place that does or some person that does and just take the opportunity to be there with them right it doesn't have to be nature all the time but nature is a conductor of positive energy especially water so I wanted to I actually had a dream last night of me walking through water so what well, did I have the opportunity to do today after work I was able to wade through water that's for me was a message saying hey go be with the water water transmutes energy so if there's any lower vibrational energy that I wasn't able to transmute myself because I did self Reiki last night for myself um, and these are these are part of my self-care routines these are what keeps me stress-free I did Reiki on myself right I'm walking through the water here because if I missed anything through my own Reiki session then this water will help me transmute it and heal me because I can heal myself and I my intention was to walk through this water to receive the beautiful energies that I can use to heal my body heal this vehicle and if I had any stress in me it's gone did I have stress this week a little bit yeah I talked about it in another video and that's why I'm focusing on stress right now because I want to show you in real, real time how I'm dealing with stress and that motorcycle passing by isn't stressing me out I'm aware of it but I'm here with you and this is where my focus is and that's one of the keys to you know stop yourself from stressing out get yourself out of it be mindful that you are in stress and do something to take care of yourself now, some of us on our spiritual journey say, hey, you know, taking care of others is really taking care of me. No, it's not. Uh, you know, to some degree, yes, if you're giving and receiving, right? But most of us just give, give, give with no expectations of receiving. But then when somebody wants to give to us, we don't receive it back. That's stress. You're stressing yourself out. You're blocking yourself from receiving good, which is creating... A negative karma karmic effect for you right there's a cause and there's effect your cause by not receiving is causing you stress which is the effect of you not lovingly receiving from somebody who's lovingly giving as much as you give you need to receive these are, these are just some of the things that that you need to be mindful of and reminded of and that's that's why I'm here I'm reminding you because I remind myself all the time I give, I do, and I receive. I receive very openly and lovingly now. I didn't in my past, but now everything. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, God bless you the other day. And I was like, thank you. I received that with love and gratitude. And I give it back. So simple, but it shifts my energy every single time. It doesn't cost anything. I don't expect anything from anybody. I'm just an allowance. But I have to know that how do I get back to center myself? Nature for me is, does it. I've said it in a lot of my videos. Walking through this water, sitting on this beautiful tree. I mean, it's hard for you to see the beauty as I'm seeing it, it's just beautiful. Yeah, there's a there's homes back there. But this is paradise for me, and I don't hear anything else. I'm touching this tree. I'm sitting on this tree, barefoot, receiving beautiful energy and giving beautiful positive energies. If I was if I was in a bad mood or something, I'd try to, to shed that mood first before I let you know, before I bring it here. So I'm very mindful that my energy, whatever I'm bringing here, can bring something that this park doesn't want either, and these trees and these birds, right? So I can come and and intend to ask them to help me transmute it not to bring it here and to give it to them too and to sulk in it no because after I ask these beautiful beings they're all beings to help me transmute this energy 
Then I sit with these beings with gratitude and love, and now I give positive energy back because they've given that. So this is one of the ways that, that I wanted to share with you that, that I do to keep myself stress-free. I didn't have a bad day today. I, I, well, I don't ever have bad days. I have experiences. So I had great experiences all day today. And I'm grateful for those experiences. I want to share my happiness and my joy and my positive energy with these beautiful beings all around me. Because we're not separate. We're all one. And my mission in life is to spread light and love and positivity. Not woo woo, blah blah blah. I, you know, when I have issues, I have issues too. But I'm not going to make my issues anybody else's issues, and I won't allow anybody else's issues to become my issues. And in that way, I'm not stressing myself. And I, I decluttered today the store that I work in. I, I, one room, I took it apart and, and put some new. It's not feng shui, but in, in a way, it is feng shui. I just made it tolerable for me. So when I go in there, I'm, just, I'm first not you know, looking all over the place for one thing, but also it's nice. It's nice to walk into a place that's organized and clean. And you can do that for yourself too, at home, at work, in the gym, wherever. Have your kids do it. All these little things that you can do to help yourself stay stress-free really works. Just get out into the environment and intend not to be stressed by anything that comes in, any noises, right? any situations, any thoughts, right? Just be here, be grateful. <sighs> Breathe. Breathe in through your nose. <laughs> <sighs> and really just lose yourself in this beauty. And know that you're healing yourself and you're bringing healing to the ground, to the earth, to the water, to the trees, to the sky, to the air. Because your energy is that powerful, and so is the energy all around you. Tune into it more. Tune out of stress. And have an amazing day. <laughs>